Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it's going to be a decorative seahorse bowl. This bowl is going to be perfect for anyone who loves the beach. You guys know I love it. Earlier in the year, I made a tiered bowl on the scroll saw, and it now sits by the door filled with peppermints to grab as you come in or go out about your day and go on your adventures, but really, really cool. I've already got all the pattern printed out to its full size and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and this is going to be a very repetitive pattern. It's got a lot of the same pieces and parts and the project uses one quarter inch material entirely and you guys know with a tabbed or slotted design the quarter inch material I get from Lowe's is not a true one quarter inch material so I've took a scrap piece of it and I've redrawn all the cut lines to their correct thicknesses for all of the tabs and slots. Here is the design. This is the top ring of the bowl and then the base of it and as you see there with a fine tip sharpie I have redrawn the actual thickness of my quarter inch material and then here is where the repetitiveness is going to come in with this project and all of the brackets you're going to need 15 in total and I've batched them in stacks of three so we're going to stack cut these five here to get the 15 brackets that we do need to go all the way around it but there is the design it's a nice seahorse design and very tropical and nautical looking and as you see there I have redrawn the cut line as I've said and again this is one of those projects where you might get frustrated with how repetitive it is, but if you take your time and zone out and just make an amazing project on the scroll saw, it can not only show what can be accomplished on the scroll saw, but what you can also accomplish yourself. But really, really cool, since all the material is prepped and we are ready to begin, let's head over to the drill press and drill all the pilot holes required for this project so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we'll begin by drilling out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And like I said, there is a lot of the same style of cut on this project that can make people feel like it's a repetitive pattern. But once we get to the scroll saw, we will take our time and let the blade do the work. I will begin by cutting out the base and the top ring here. And this is just a singular piece of the one quarter inch material and you see that I have a scrap piece of the same material to double check each of the little squares I'm cutting out. In total there is 30 squares that you need to cut out accurately and test fit to make sure once we get to the assembly part all of the pieces will slot together and it'll go together smoothly. I am using a number five ultra reverse tooth blade and it is flying through the single layer of quarter inch material here but it will also cut beautifully through all three layers of the quarter inch material once we start stack cutting the seahorse brackets. If you guys would like to try this pattern it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog and it is one of his recent designs. When he uploaded it he has now started adding a virtual 3D image of what the project will look like when it's completed and as soon as I seen it I knew I had to make it for my mom. She's got a couple of her rooms decorated in beach decor and I'm excited to cut it out and see what she will do with it once I give it to her. And as you see I continually double check that all of the little squares are cut out again with 30 identical squares needing to be cut out I can see where people would call this project monotonous or repetitive but I just had on some good music and zoned out and enjoyed the scroll saw and hobby we are now cutting out the base there and we will cut out the top ring and then we will proceed to cut out all 15 of the brackets and I batch them out in sets of three when you see me get done with the top ring, you will see me use my 3D printed blade alignment tool to double check and make sure that the scroll saw is perfectly square. That is essential when you're stack cutting multiple layers because you want all three layers to come out identical. And I will do all the internal cuts on all five sets of the brackets before retensioning the blade and releasing them from the waste wood. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. And 
I am using that same number five ultra reverse tooth blade to cut everything out. I didn't break a blade during the entire process and I used the same blade to cut out everything. I'm really loving some of the beach theme designs that Steve Good has been releasing. You see me there using the same blade alignment tool to double check after doing all the internal cuts. And with my experience, it took me around 25 minutes to scroll everything out. Once again, just taking my time and letting the blade do the work and being as loyal as I can to the cut line. Once everything is scrolled out, it will be time to go over to the workbench and remove all the pieces from the waste wood. Just batching out all 15 of the brackets. And I could have technically stack cutted four at one time, but I didn't want the blade to break and potentially break off anything, so I just done five sets of three. And once we remove all the pieces from the waste wood, it will be time to proceed to sanding. And I will use 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander and sand the front and back of everything. The scroll saw blades, as long as you have a quality blade, always produces an amazing cut. And usually this is the only type of sanding I need on my scroll saw work. And if anyone was curious what the black material is under the sander, it is just dresser drawer liner or kitchen drawer liner, this rubbery to hold the pieces in place. And as you've seen with it being a multiple piece project, I had a picture saved on my phone of Steve's finished project and I'm assembling everything with CA glue and activator. And this is medium grade CA glue. And if you have the time and want to clamp everything together, you could totally use wood glue. But I opted for CA glue. And once I got the 15 brackets glued in place, I let that dry for around 5 minutes before coming back to put on the top ring and everything slotted together beautifully. And then I added more CA glue and activator to lock it in place. And instead of staining this project, I actually opted to spray paint it. And I used a nice tropical blue color after this dried once again for around five minutes. And I gave it several coats, moving it around on the wire to make sure everything was coated. And when that dried, the project was complete. And here we have the completed seahorse bowl cut out completely on the scroll saw and it came out amazingly well. Thank you Steve Good for another fantastic pattern from your pattern catalog. Everything came out great. This again is one of Steve's newest patterns offerings from a couple weeks ago. So really, really cool. I had a lot of fun making this. It only took me around 25 minutes to scroll everything out. And it's not a complicated pattern. It's just a very repetitive pattern, making sure all the slots in the top ring and bottom ring are lined up perfectly, and then cutting out all 15 of the seahorses. Of course, if you're going to stack cut, it's key to make sure that your scroll saw is at a perfect 90 degrees for stack cutting. But really, really cool. Again, 25 minutes of cutting and then the assembly process after sanding and I finished it with spray paint. I hardly ever finish projects with spray paint but I wanted to with this one. I thought it would be appropriate to do it blue with the seahorses on each of the brackets there. And the paint I used is Satin Ink Blue by Rust-Oleum and it's the paint and primer mix so I will not have to go back and add no clear coat over this. I did have to manipulate it on the wire between takes you know to make sure I got everything coated with the blue and everything came out nice and it slotted together exceptionally well. Of course, I glued it up with CA glue and it is a very strong, you know, gr grabbing it, you know, it's not a very fragile piece. It is fragile being scroll saw, but I hope you know what I mean. Like it's not fragile in a sense like if I pick it up like this, it's going to fall apart. 
this bowl lends itself to a lot of uses. With the cavities in between each of the brackets, I don't see you laying candy in it in a traditional sense like you could with that tiered ringed bowl I've done earlier in the year. But what I do see is maybe putting some plastic down in here or maybe decorative tissue paper that might have some nautical stuff on it like starfish or something and then putting something in it. You could cut pieces of driftwood from the beach and put in it. A lot of uses and a lot of ways to finish this piece. Of course I spray painted it. You can stain it and if you stain it uniform grain direction would play a major role in it to make sure everything looked nice and uniform. This could be made out of hardwoods, exotic woods. Of course I use quarter inch plywood. I pick up at Lowe's Home Improvement. I think it would look real cool to maybe do the seahorses in maybe cedar and then the top and bottom ring in maybe oak or walnut to really give it some nice contrast. But really really cool. I had a lot of fun making this and this of course will go to my mom. She does a lot of beach decor. But I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it. I took my time and let the blade do the work as always. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one and remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.